Hey art fans, thanks so much for tuning in today. Okay, a lot of you have been suggesting that I do some adult cartoon drawings. Okay, not a bad idea. You know, I could draw like Family Guy, Simpsons, Rick and Morty, and I could probably replace, you know, Rick's, you know, flask with a juice box, something like that, because I tend to lean a little bit more toward the kids end of things. So you know what? I'm gonna combine the two. I'm gonna draw some adult cartoons as kids cartoons. Check it out. Come on down South Park and meet some friends of mine. Okay, South Park. Now, I think this is a really funny cartoon. It's been around for a long time, too. I remember when it first came out. South Park really lends itself to sort of combining with Charles Schultz's Peanuts characters, because it's the only cartoon I'm gonna draw today that features kids as the stars. Doing Cartman, Kyle, and Stan as Peanuts characters is a lot of fun. And I, of course, drew them in the classic Charlie Brown Christmas pose where they have the sad little Christmas tree. And I couldn't do a South Park Peanuts drawing without putting Snoopy and Kenny in it, so I combined Snoopy with Kenny, and Snoopy's kind of hidden with Kenny's park over his face. So uh, here you go, South Park as the Peanuts character. I took Bob's Burgers. I'm thinking, what can I do with Bob's Burgers? What could I possibly do? But then I thought, hey, there's another very famous Bob who has burgers, and it's a kid's cartoon, and it's SpongeBob. So I thought, let's put Bob from Bob's Burgers combined with SpongeBob and put him in Bikini Bottom and take Bob's wife, Linda, who actually has kind of the same shape as Patrick Star, and uh, make her Patrick the Starfish. So here's Bob's Burgers as SpongeBob. I call it SpongeBob's Burgers. Next up is Archer from the FX channel, and Archer has a really cool look to him. I really like the way this cartoon looks, and of course Archer's a detective, so I thought, hey, why don't we just take Archer the detective and put him with one of the most classic cartoon kid detective shows ever made, Scooby-Doo. So here is Archer combined with Scooby, and they are on the hunt for a ghost, or maybe a very attractive female. I can't really tell. <laughs> Next up is Futurama. There's a classic animated cartoon by Hanna-Barbera called The Jetsons, so I thought, hey, let's put these two together. So here are the Futurama characters in a classic Jetsons car. I love that car. I love the sound it makes, too. I don't think I can do it, really. But anyway, here's a uh, really cool Jetsons pose with uh, Fry as George Jetson, Leela as Jane Jetson, and of course, Bender as Elroy Jetson. <laughs> Next up is Family Guy, and what I really wanted to do with this one was draw it in the style of one of my all-time favorite comic strips, Calvin and Hobbes by Bill Watterson, and I wanted to kind of capture the Calvin and Hobbes look with uh, some real heavy, thick black lines and a real cool watercolor wash background. So this is Family Guy drawn in the style of Calvin and Hobbes. Jack Horseman. Pretty relatively new cartoon. Not super old. It hasn't been around as long as some of the other ones, but uh, really cool. I thought, of course, you know, you see a horse, you're like, wow, I've got to combine Bojack with one of the classic kids cartoons of all time, My Little Pony. But I wanted to do it like the updated version of My Little Pony. I wasn't a big fan of the 80s one back in the day. I actually worked on the original one <laughs> back in the 80s. But uh, anyway, uh, here is Bojack Horseman as a modern day My Little Pony character. All right, Rick and Morty. They are probably one of the most adult cartoons out there, and I thought, let's take the opposite end of the spectrum and find one of the most kid-friendly entertainment shows out there, and I thought, Sesame Street. So let's combine Rick and Morty with Sesame Street. Let's make Rick and Morty Muppets and put them behind like a little classic table like they'd be operated by people, and let's take Rick's classic flask and replace it with an apple juice box, and lo and behold, you have Rick and Morty looking kind of like Burtner. Okay, The Simpsons, one of the longest running cartoons of all time. Also one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Really love The Simpsons. Anyway, I thought I would combine that cartoon with one of my longest running cartoons of all time, The Fairly Odd Parents. So here we go. This is Homer as Cosmo, Marge as Wanda, and of course Bart Simpson as Timmy Turner. I call it The Fairly Odd Simpsons.
okay, adult cartoons is kid cartoons. I really had a great time doing that one. I got to do a lot of different styles. Very, very fun. You know, I've been getting a lot of comments to do anime characters. Now, let me know which one of your favorite anime characters you want to see me draw, and you never know. I just might put it into another video. All right, this week on the big whiteboard, the number one suggestion I've been getting for a character of mine to draw is Dinkleberg from the Fairly Odd Parents. That's right, Dinkleberg. So, here we go. Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the New Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag HeartFanArt and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drops.